Li Sabi, Li Sabi. <laughs> Welcome to the Nollywood Insiders. My name is Key Heaven Abraham, and today I will be reviewing the movie Li Sabi. You see, I'm super excited about the movie, right? There was a lot of excitement on the release of the trailer. For those that have seen the movie, do you think that it met up to the excitement, to your expectations? If it did, if it did not, let us know in the comments section. So let's dive straight into it. Liz Habi is an epic Yoruba movie, just like Jagun Jagun, House of Guy, and Ileshin Oba, and the rest of them. It is executively produced by Latif Adedimeji. If you know who Latif is in the movie industry, yes, we've seen him in a lot of um, epic Yoruba movies, a lot of it. He's very good at um, acting, especially epic movies. But this time around, he is acting and he is also the executive producer of Lisa B. Before we delve into the storyline, wait, 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 wait. Why is it that every epic Yoruba movie has Oyo Town inside? Why? So when I started seeing the movie, I saw Oyo Town like, hey, Again, I get it that Oyo Town is a very prominent village in Yoruba land. It's very popular, it's known, it's everywhere good. But I am tired of seeing it in Yoruba epic movies. I believe that there are other towns, other villages in ancient Yoruba land. So I feel like they should, like, they, they should explore, they should give us other names. I am tired of Oyo Town. But let's go back to the storyline. The storyline of this movie talks about Oyo Town and a ruthless leader Leader who gains his influence, his power and fear from the people to him by going to take tasks. So he has a group of men that are trained for battle. They go to every village to take their foodstuffs, you know, whatever um, proceed they get from farming for the season and take it to the king. To him, he feels like that is his way of making them to, getting them to fear him, to respect him and acknowledge that he is king. So a certain village, Egba village, there are parts of the village that are being harassed by the task collectors because they keep taking all of their proceeds and it was just a very crazy experience. The movie talks about, also talks about white men bringing ammunition to the village for in exchange for slaves. And the truth is the storyline of this movie has a lot of cruelty. A lot of cruelty, a lot of terrible things happened. Just knowing that it's a movie was okay. Most times when I see these things happen, I'm like, okay, it's a movie. Thank God, you know, because it was just really wicked. Um, so going back to Egba Land, Latif Adedimeji played the role of Liz Shabi. So he is the main character. He is the protagonist of the movie and the executive producer, as I mentioned earlier. He is a farmer in the village of Egba who has a friend, according to the storyline, is lazy. Um, Lee Shabi obviously is a very hardworking farmer and his friend, played by the amazing Macaroni. He played the character Oshekenu. Oshekenu is, is a friend, of course, to Lee Shabi, who assists with farming, assists, but his assistance is, <laughs> is not really assisting. Another character is Liko Rose of Big Brother Niger, whose actual name is Rosaline Afije. She played the role Abebi. She did well. She did so well. Though I didn't really feel her... Um, okay, let me say this. She acted so well until it got to the point where she was raped and she went into the room. I didn't really feel her pain. And her facial expression was not a hundred. It really wasn't it for me. She didn't really um, um, demonstrate the, the pain of someone who has been raped, the traumatic experience and all of that. I, I, I feel she didn't really embody it. But yeah, aside from that, she did a great job. And she's very pretty, very beautiful, you know. Yeah. So let's talk about Ikeola. Ikeola was played by the phenomenal Adebimpe. Adedimeji, that is the wife of Latif Adedimeji. She played a very good friend to Lishabi, who is her husband in real life. And um, Lishabi's friend, Oshikandu, kept saying, I, the way Ikeola looks at you, I know she's in love with you. Why is she not in love with you? That's her husband. <laughs> 
All right. So, um, so she played good, uh, good friend to Lee Chabi, and she is good. She is really good. For every scene, every time you get to see her, she embodies her role and top notch. Good performance to Adibi Bay. Yes, let's talk about a worker pass. Is it a worker pass role? A role that is not one of the major roles. But why I decided to talk about her is that she did. Hey, she was good. She was really good. She has seen in the entire movie was just two scenes. She is known as Oroshola, but her real name is Eniola Ajao. She played the role of the husband to someone who was killed by the Oyo task collectors. The scene where she was told about the fact that her husband had died, I just watched her and she demonstrated what I would have done if I had such a news. It was on point. It was amazing. Oroshola, you did such a great job. I must say, you did amazingly well. Good job. Well done. So, my favorite scene in this movie is actually the first scene where the king was introduced to the movie. Hmm. The aura, the vibe, the environment. I just love the, I just love the Yoruba tribe. I just love how, you know, they are able to depict their culture, their tradition. It is just so beautiful to watch the, the the way the king was introduced you know he was bathed in blood <laughs> it was everyone was bowing the way he walked his aura oh my god i could just feel i just i could just feel goosebumps all over me I, to me that was the most favorite scene because it was captivating and it actually made me know i, I, I sat down well you know when you sit to see a movie and then you watch the first scene and you're like, no, 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 no. I'm definitely going to finish this movie. You know, I sat well, adjusted my gilly and my rapper and made sure that, you know, I was in a very good position for the movie. That first scene was good. It was good. Really amazing. Um, the storyline was a bit slow, but they were able to meet up with it. You know, one thing I love about epic movies is whether the story is interesting or not, you always find it captivating because it tells stories beyond what we're seeing right now. You know, there is no or your town in Lagos or, you know, there is no Rapatain, uh, king, powerful, you know, soldiers, not soldiers, um, warriors, battles. There's nothing like that in the days that we live in right now. So it is always fascinating to see stuff like that in a movie. So whether an epic movie is interesting or not, you just love it for the fact that you're seeing things that you know, reminds us of our forefathers. So another scene in this movie that I loved so much was the scene where the farmers were farming in the land and there was a background music and everyone was farming according to the background music. I believe they were singing it on set so as to be able to meet up with the times that you have to bend to hit the ground and, you know, that kind of farmer's vibe and I loved it. I loved it. It was just a beautiful scene for me to see. Of course, that makes you know that it is a movie. It is not real life because of course, everybody cannot at the same time, but it, it was, it was an, it was an awesome watch for me. I loved the idea of that scene. It, it made me know, you know, the unity and the fun it has to actually farm, to till the ground and plant and harvest. The costume design of this movie was not actually a hundred, but it's a good one. I actually feel that if we're going to be having a lot of epic Yoruba movies, every one of them should try to step up the game. It was the normal, usual thing that we see in other epic movies, and this was just like a replica when it has to do with the costume. The movie was like House of Ga, where you get to see that the king is not actually the problem. He has a subordinate who is the terrifying and, you know, very wicked person. I, I, I just feel like that was House of Ga storyline replicated. And if you're going to give us a movie, try to do something different. And also the set location. The set location for this movie is... I saw a scene where the head of the task collectors, where he was seated. And I, I think I remember that scene from House of Ga, right? I feel like it was like a repeated set location. And I get it. I totally get it. I'm not saying it as 
as a flop for the movie because to get locations to shoot these kind of movies is not easy. Just like I said earlier, it is not the kind of things that we see nowadays. It will be really hard to see locations that will be able to depict the ancient times. So it's okay if it's repeated. It's okay. We still get the feel, we still get the story, we still get the vibe and good to go. So there was a scene where the Egba King had a meeting with Li Shabi and two other farmers. The scene was trying to tell us that this is a king's palace, but this, it didn't look like a palace at all. I just feel like they couldn't find a place to create a new palace, so they just decided to stay somewhere. And Because obviously, if the king summons you, it should be to his palace, and that did not, did not look like a palace at all. Oshekenu's character was that, was the lazy one, and... He was set to marry Abebe, played by Lipo Rose, and Abebe was raped. And then go see the movie to see the rest of the gist. But he was so angry that he fought the task collectors, the warriors. For me, it was crazy that a, someone who was depicted as lazy killed 10 warriors. It, it is crazy. What do you think? The movie just lets us know that he's a lazy one. Lishabi is a hardworking one, always working. He's always, um, whereas Oshikendu, his best friend, is always drinking, you know, pursuing women and stuff. But how did he kill 10 people? I get it. He was angry that they had raped his bride. But 10 warriors, 10 trained warriors. Every time we are shown the scene of where the warriors are in their den, where they are in their, you know, caban, they are always fighting. They are always training. They are always, you know, fighting with each other, trying to... So these are people that are actually trained constantly. How was he able to kill 10? If he had killed three, four, or maybe five, that's okay. But 10 warriors for a lazy Oshekenu, that's not... That's not... It's not obtainable at all. It's not obtainable. So towards the tail end of the movie, Songo Dei, the leader of the task collector, had a fight with Lee Shabi. Firstly, the talk that they were talking during the fight, I feel like it was unnecessary. But thinking about it, I realized that in ancient Yoruba history, um, people tend to do a lot of incantations, especially in times where, you know, you are in a lot of trouble or you need help supernaturally. So I feel like, okay, okay. So I guess that's why they had to say a lot of things during that fight. But for me, I was like, fight, 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 leave this talk. Just fight. One thing happened in that fight. You are fighting Lishabi and you got to beat him to a level that he fell on the ground. The fact that the storyline has depicted that Songo Dei is very ruthless, very wicked. He actually raped a baby and, you know, how wicked and how he's easy to kill people. If he is fighting with Lishabi and Lishabi goes to the ground, the best or the next move is to, you know, get the knife out and kill him or try to strangle him or do something that would kill him. How on earth did he start walking away? The ruthless, wicked Shango Dei becomes soft-hearted. Not relatable. It's not realistic, actually. I feel like the next step was to kill Lishabi. And then as he is walking away, that's when Lishabi gets to go see the movie. I, it's not me that will give you the gist. Mm -mm. I, will not, I will not give you spoilers. So personally, I feel like we need more of Shafi Bello in our Yoruba epic movie movies i've heard her speak yoruba and she's good acting nah she's leave that one she's good have you seen the black book have you seen election oba shafi bello is good and i feel like please bring more of her to yoruba epic movies i would love to see her do what she knows how to do best i will give the movie lisha b six over ten because it is epic and the storyline is captivating. But the way that movie ended, I feel like we're going to have a part two. And till then, six out of 10 is good. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you had fun. If you have seen the movie, Lee Shadi, did it meet up to your expectations? Did it not? Please let us know in the comment section. My name is New Heaven Abraham. And until I come your way again, peace out.